Welcome to Head Kick Audio. Welcome back. I got Neelan Markham, who competes Hi. April 22nd at the Celebrity Theater in downtown Phoenix, Arizona for Rough 54. He takes on Roderick at 135 pounds. Now, listen, my man, last time you came out, you you had a boy in trouble and just you got him out of there quickly. Are we looking to have another repeat? I'm looking for that. If it goes on round two, three, I'm ready for that, too. But I mean, I'm ready for whatever, man. I expect to perform well and nothing less. All right. Now, your opponent also uh, had a quick fight uh, in his first match, got his opponent out of there pretty quick. Uh, so. What what do we know about the opponent? What does he do well that we got to keep an eye on? Um, I don't. I honestly don't know anything about this guy, but um, that doesn't really bother me too much, man. Cause uh, I know what I'm. I'm know what I'm capable of, and at the end of the day, we're just throwing some hands, man. It's nothing too complicated. So I'm gonna keep my eyes open. I'm gonna watch out for what he's got. Uh, I'm gonna respect his power, and I'm gonna make him respect mine. All right. And uh, again, very tall for the division. I remember when I was standing next to you in person, I felt I felt like a, you know, a small child. You know what I mean? <laughs> so do you think your length is going to uh, play a factor as much as it did in the last one? Yeah, for sure. I'm going to use it. I'm not going to fight like a short guy. That's where a lot of guys like me will fuck up is they're not using their length to their advantage. Um, I'm smart. I know what God gave me. I'm going to use it. All right, and, and uh, relatively young uh, in this game, um, so you got a lot of time to to grow, right? So uh, as we move forward in this uh, in this uh, game, do you think thirty five is your forever home? Uh, we'll see, man. If it gets too hard to cut to that in the future, I might move up to one forty five. But for now, one thirty five isn't too bad, man. Like outside of uh, camp, I'm sitting around 155, and uh, it's not it's not too bad of a cut if you're doing it right. Okay, I hear you. I hear you. Um, and then uh, for the fans that are going to be in attendance, maybe they haven't seen you fight. Explain to them your fighting style. Um, I would say I'm flashy, but I'm technical. Now get shit done. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. 100%, 100%. All right. And then uh, for those that don't know your backstory, how did you get into uh, competing in MMA? Um, Honestly, man, just watching YouTube videos in school, watching like UFC knockout compilations. Um, I knew I didn't want to work a desk job, man. So this is what I'm pursuing for a career. And I'm not going to stop till I'm at the fucking top. Uh, not lacking confidence at all. Do you think that's going to help you when you step in the cage on April 22nd? For sure, man. Uh, doubting myself isn't going to help me fucking 1%. There's nothing I can do but believe in myself to the fullest extent. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, my man. And when you get your hand raised on April 22nd and Dave Velvet announces you as the winner, I want to know how you're celebrating with your victory meal. Oh, my God. My favorite question. Um, well, first, man, I'm going to smoke a big ass joint and then uh, I'm going to go find some fucking burgers, some bacon cheeseburgers, some bacon cheeseburger. You can't go wrong with bacon cheeseburger. No, you can't go wrong with joints either. <laughs> <laughs> I do not partake, but uh, I love to be around the smell. Now, what are we washing it down with, my man? Uh, I got some fucking chocolate milk, some protein milk. I'm talking about your victory meal, bud. Oh, same thing, same thing. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> All right, what would uh, win number two mean to you and the team over at Proving Ground? I'm sorry, can you ask that one more time? I said, what would the the win mean to you and your team over at Proving Ground? Oh, it would mean a lot, man. It would, it would make them proud, and I want to show everybody – what they put us through and like the type of fighters that they make out of that gym because right now we're not that big we're still considered like a pretty small gym but we make some fucking killers man for real well talk to me about these killers in this room man who do we got oh uh, right now i'm just at eos i'm just hitting some bags and stuff but um we got antonio you seen antonio fight man uh, Mayara, she was on rough 48. She fucking did a good job. Um, 
Kovo, fucking Jacob Farney. I think he was on, what was the last one, 51? He was on that one. He almost slammed that motherfucker through the canvas, man. So <laughs> we, we got all types of fighters, man, all types of weights and different classes of killers. Definitely, definitely. Um, so uh, how, how does the, the family, the friends, how do they, uh, how do they react when you said, hey, I'm, I'm going to be jumping in a cage and fighting people for a living? They love it, man. My mom, she gets nervous, though. At, uh, at my last fight, when she seen me slide into the mount on that guy, uh, my dad said he was sitting there. He was like, yeah! And uh, he looked over to my mom, and she's just sitting there bawling her eyes out. It, it's hard for her to watch, but uh, I'm going to make her proud. All right, my man. Uh, that's all I've got. Is there anything uh, you want to tell the audience uh, about April 22nd? Don't be surprised when I get my hand raised, and don't be surprised when I'm wearing that rough belt. I love the confidence. I absolutely love the confidence. Do you have a prediction for your fight? Whatever I get, man. All I know is I'm going to finish it. It's not going to the judges. Yeah, we got to keep them out of the equation, my man. Always. All right, brother. Well, on April 22nd, Neyland Mark Neyland Markham jumps yeah, back go. into the rough cage. I had to correct myself there. <laughs> back in the rough cage, uh, rough 54 at the Celebrity Theater in downtown Phoenix, Arizona. Do you have any friends, family, coaches, training partners do you like to thank? Yeah, man. Uh, like always, my teammate Isaac, he's fighting on the card with me. I want to give a huge shout out to him. Because we've just been pushing each other back and forth the whole time. Uh, my coaches, Ruben Vargas, Jerem Woodbury, they're fucking killers. They know what they're doing. They're professionals to the highest extent. And, uh, yeah, man, everybody else who's helped me get here, I couldn't have done it without anybody in my life being there. Well, a guy that you that, uh, you know, jives and vibes pretty well uh, in this game, you got any sponsors yet? No, man, I don't. I'm open, though. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, man, if there was a, a young prospect that you wanted to jump on the train early, I think we got one here in Neyland. Um, is there anything you'd like to get out into the universe, my man? Um, I love everybody. No disrespect to anybody I fought or will fight. It's all love at the end of the day. But I got to get that win. Absolutely. And where can they follow you on social media? Um, 23 Nilando, N-E-Y-L-A-N-D-O. All right, brother. And what's your, uh, your ticket code if they want to purchase tickets or the pay-per-view? It's, uh, Neyland in all caps, N-E-Y-L-A-N-D. All right. So Neyland Markham, April 22nd at the Celebrity Theater for yes, Rough sir. 54. Be there or be square. I will see you in a couple weeks, my man. Until next Amen. time. Let's get it done.